Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Monday and it's time to start another week in my life <laughs> vlog. I feel like I should have like some kind of like an intro music thing right here, but like I'm not really sure how to do that. <laughs> so we just got to Walmart. We're waiting for my cousin to get here. We're just gonna like run around with her today. She's got some things she has to do and we have nothing to do. So <laughs> we're just gonna hang out with her. So I'll check in with you guys once she gets here. Oh, Keisha's hello. <laughs> Keisha's here. <laughs> we just been poking around Walmart. Nothing exciting. You got the babies in the cart. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> so I don't know. We're just having adventures for today. Nothing, Mommy time. Yeah, nothing <laughs> Get exciting. Get out of the house. Right? <laughs> so we just finished at Meyer. I don't think I've vlogged, vlogged any in there. We went from Walmart to Meyer. Um, but at Walmart, I bought some really cute baby clothes. So I thought I'd show them to you guys. So these shirts I'm super excited about because they go with camouflage pants. And I think camouflage pants are so cute. So we got in this little shirt right here. It says Best Buddies. A little thermal for fall. Um, got him. This one is one he picked out. I let him pick between this one and another one that looked like this, the thermal, but it had a moose on it. I would have picked the moose. But this is the one that Levi picked. So it's got like a dragon and bears and the number one and it's kind of like it looks like a shirt but it's a onesie so that's what levi picked out um and then i got him the pants to go with it i love camo pants but he's had them before and i always have a hard time like finding shirts to go with them and so when i found these camo pants and they had they're like the grandmanals grandmanals collection so i had like three shirts that match these camo pants so I was like, yeah, we'll get him two shirts and a pair of pants because I love these. They're so cute. Um, so he's got the pants to go with his shirts. Then I bought him one more outfit that I thought was so cute and it is so soft. So it has this little top and it's like, oh my gosh, I wish you guys could feel this shirt. It is so soft. It's like a little sweater. It's got little bears all over it and they're in blue and the shirt's like a cream color. So, so soft. It's really soft on the inside. And then it had matching, but did I get in two shirts? No, I picked up two of the shirts. We're gonna have to take this back and get a shirt or like the pants because I had matching pants to go with it. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to do that. I'm gonna do that later. It's hot out. Mike's coming home for lunch, so we're gonna go there first. And then we'll take these back and exchange it. I can't believe. I picked up two of the same shirt. I thought I could have swore I picked up the pants. Oh well, I'll have to take that back. But that's my little baby haul. And then I got myself a vanilla Coke from Meyer. I swear their Cokes are the best. They have like, I don't know really what you call it. It's not like a regular Coke machine. It's like this fancy red box. Unless you've seen one, you're not really gonna know what I'm talking about. But it's like this fancy red box and it's touch screen and has all different kinds of Cokes and they have all different kinds of flavors. And I just feel like their pops taste the best. They're a little more expensive. They're like $1.50 for a pop, but it tastes so good. And I'd ask Mike, since he's on his way home, if he wanted to swing by the gas station and get us some pops because they're like 69 cents at the gas station. And he told me no, he would just wanted to go straight home. So I feel like I need to drink this before I get home because if I show up with a pop and I didn't get him one, he's going to be like, where's mine, you know? And kind of feel like an ass for not getting him one but on the other hand they're like a dollar fifty a piece so let's spend like three dollars on pops probably makes me a bad wife <laughs> so I'm gonna try to suck that down before I get home and yeah oh, that was a great face <laughs> I'll check in with you guys a little later oh my gosh guys I just had like the scariest thing happen um I went to pull down my back alley and there was some guy, and I couldn't see him because he was in the shadows, and he was laying in the alley, like, sleeping. Or, he wasn't sleeping because he got up and moved, which is how I seen him in time to break, but I almost ran him over. Like, I mean, it wasn't like he was full laying in the alley, but it was like his legs were in the alley. And I was like, I couldn't see him he was in the shadows. And he was wearing dark clothes, and he was, like, behind a building. And so he was, like, in the shadow of the building, and, like... I almost ran this guy over straight up like I and like when you pull into my alley you have to go past this building and it's hard to see around the corner of this building anyways into the alley 
when you're turning and he's like laying right there and I almost ran him over like oh my god why the f why would you lay there why oh my gosh he's like sitting there eating pork rinds and I see him get up and like pick up a bag of pork rinds or whatever and it's like why would you lay there oh my gosh I almost just ran this guy over Holy crap. I told I tell you guys we got like some weird I mean he's good chance he's homeless possibly drunk I don't know but I almost ran him over oh my gosh why would you sit there oh my gosh and of course it's not something I'm looking for because it's not like people go laying in the middle of the road every day like I'm not looking for that oh he scared the heck out of me like I had to slam my brakes I almost ran this guy over oh my gosh that was terrifying. This is a bit of an update. I just got my upper body workout in for the day. Uh, neighbors at the very end of the street threw out one of those big playhouses. These things, um, pretty much all of it fit in the trunk of my car, but these were too wide to go in. Otherwise, I'd have just made two trips to the car. So I had to carry these all the way down the alley, which I have a pretty long road, and two blocks technically. Um, I thought it would be no big deal to do them both at the same time. I was wrong. Because one on their own is not that heavy. Two together at first isn't bad. Get halfway down the street. I'm tired. <laughs> Plus they're just big and awkward so it makes it hard to carry them anyways. And I had to like, you can see where like the door is on this one. The other one has a window on it. So I just threw them up over my shoulder. <sighs> but... I made mean, for a bigger workout than I thought it was going to be. But anyways, yeah, I think these are like a couple hundred dollars. Um, this one is filthy, but garden hose, some soap, they can hose it down, clean it up. And then I'm thinking we take some black spray paint and some yellow spray paint and we can make Levi the um, bat cave. So I think that'd be kind of fun. I don't know how well these things spray paint, but I imagine it'll be okay. I mean, if it's not, I got it for free anyway, so like who cares? So, Levi's taking a nap right now, which is why I was able to run down to the alley, run down the end of the alley and grab these. He's sleeping in his crib. So he's safe, door's locked up. Um, so, yeah, and that's gonna be my project for this afternoon. Hopefully I can just hose it down like with a good sprayer and maybe all the dirt will just come off without me having to get like soap and water. Obviously I'm gonna use water, but you know, soap with a sponge. But it's gonna be my project for this afternoon. And then we have some black spray paint in the basement. But I might wait till Mike gets home and get his input on it and see what he thinks about how we should spray paint it. Um, I'm kind of excited. And yeah. I'm excited to get him one of these. I know this is more of like a girlier kind of thing to have a playhouse. But I know my um, cousin's kid, Keisha, the one you seen earlier today, they have one. Her son loves it. And then our other cousin had one, which I think is the one that Keisha has. It's the one that our other cousin had when her kids were littler. It's like a log cabin, so it's more boy style. But I know when I worked at the daycare, they had one very similar to this, and the little boys loved it, the little girls loved it, they were all about it. So I don't think Levi's gonna have a preference. Um, like, like I said, if we spray paint it bat black and make it into the bat cave, he's gonna love it. So, you know, when he gets old enough to care, right now he don't care. Molly, our yard, Molly, it's not a yard. So I'm going to haul this stuff out of my car because these things stink. When I bought the tubby tight cube slide for Levi at a garage sale and hauled it home in my car, I let it sit in my car overnight stupidly and it made my whole car stink because I had like water in it or whatever. Um, and these have water in them too and I don't want to leave it in my car because that was bad. It was like sour milk kind of a smell. So I want to get all this out, throw it in the yard and then I'll get the hose out and hose it down. We'll see what we get out of it. Um, and then that guy I mentioned I almost ran over while I was on the way back here with my car to my house uh, the cops were leaving the building that I was sleeping by and now the guy's gone so I'm guessing the guys the cops came by and picked him up which is probably a good thing because like sleeping in the roads are not good and he was like trying to do it again but this time he was more in the parking lot of this building and less in the road but still not a safe place to be sleeping um, plus it's really hot out so I don't know if he's drunk if he's homeless both I don't know but hopefully, I mean, the, the police will take him somewhere. Either it's going to be the homeless shelter or, I don't know, the back of the police station if he's drunk or high or whatever. 
get him the help he needs, so that's good. Um, and he's not laying in the road anymore, so I won't potentially run him over. So, yeah, I'll let you guys know how this all turns out later on. Good morning, it's Tuesday, and my cat's today off. Um, it's still kind of early, I think it's like 10 or 11 in the morning. Um, I haven't done a whole lot, honestly, I didn't want to get out of bed this morning, to be completely honest. But I thought I would go ahead and give you guys a little bit of an update on the bat cave. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we've got completed so far. Mike has got one side of one of the walls painted gray. We need to flip this one and paint it. Um, we still have the top of the roof to go over. I got both the front and the back of the roof painted last night. Um, Mike has been working on the shutters going yellow. That's the second coat on the back side. So these are almost done as soon as they're dry. That's gonna need a few more coats. Um, and then this needs flipped over when you do the back side of that. And we have the two big walls front and back to do. But we've run out of paint. So we need to get some more black so that I can finish the top of the roof. And we need some more gray. Um, but then I think we're good on the yellow. So yeah, it's coming along. I'm pretty excited. Hey everyone, it is evening time. And I'm getting ready to take a bath. And I thought we could do this bath bomb together. It is um, from a local place here and they make all the bath bombs. Um, we have a like a, a storefront now, but they make it all by hand. <clears throat> Excuse me. The um, I got like junk in my throat. The uh, prices are really good. I think they're like three or three fifty per bath bomb, so pretty good prices, especially if you compare it to Bath and Body Works, which is like six dollars for a bath bomb. This one is Amber Romance. Mm, it smells just like the Amber Romance from Victoria's Secret and it's got gold glitter and it's pink and it's super cute and girly and I thought we could just do it together. So if you're interested in checking out Mama Parsons Soporium, they do all kinds of stuff. I like the bath bombs. I haven't really tried anything else yet. I never really meet one that's like a Pokemon bath bomb for kids and has like a little plastic Pokemon inside. And then if they get the Pikachu Pokemon, they get to bring it back in and get a free bath bomb. But anyways, <laughs> um... I'll leave a link to their Facebook page down below if you want to order some bath bombs. And if you're wondering, no, I don't have any clothes on. Okay, pervs, if that's what you're questioning. So I'll turn you around and we can put the bath bomb in. Okay, so my lighting's not the best. And I have an old bathtub, so it's not beautiful, but go ahead and put the bath bomb in. If you can just ignore my old bathtub. Woo, there it goes. Pretty and pink. It smells so good. I love bath bombs. Aren't they so much fun? Yay, bath bombs. So it completely turned my bath water pink. It's like a really pretty rosy pink, I guess. Um, I don't know if it's quite showing up right on camera, but it's a really pretty color. I'm enjoying it. It's very fragrant. It's a nice bath bomb. It's my second one I've used from them, and I really, really like it. So I will definitely be buying some more. Hey guys, it is Wednesday today. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to vlog any because it's been a super busy morning. Uh, I donated plasma, and then after that, my mother-in-law was at my house, and so I picked her up. Um, she met at our house, and I picked her up, and we met Mike at lunch at Three Amigos. You guys would have seen that, that place in a vlog uh, a few months back, probably. Uh, so we just finished having lunch there, and then I had to take her and Levi back to the house, and I had to get Levi changed and down to the nap so I could run out the door to make it to my hair appointment, which is at 1, and I've got about 10 minutes to kill before my hair appointment, but, so I thought I would just come on here and check in with you guys. So after, so next time you guys see me here in a moment, uh, I will have a new haircut. It's not going to be drastic, but a new haircut's always nice. <laughs> so I just finished getting my haircut. It's like I said, it's not drastic, but a little bit shorter. I got the um, dead ends taken off, which needed to be done, and I got a little bit of something going on up here. It's not all one length now, it's um, got some layers and it starts about here. So got a little, little something going on. So I love it, I love my hairstylist, she's so sweet. So now I'm gonna head over to Comb Palace and get something to drink because I'm thirsty and then heading on home. Good morning, it's Thursday. You can hear people over here yelling. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Um, but I just thought I'd get on here and start the vlog for the day. We are getting ready to go pick a mic up so we can all go for lunch. We're gonna go to Wings Etc. So I'll try to film a little bit in there. While I was getting in the car, I just slammed my head 
on this thing right here. It's like a little mirror so you can see Levi in the back. And I slam my head into it. It hurts so bad. I'm surprised I'm not bleeding because I got it right on the corner. It really hurts. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna have some lunch. I'm gonna take my husband back his ring so we can be married again. Just kidding. Him and I have a horrible habit habit of not wearing our rings. I take mine off anytime I clean or take a shower or do anything that's gonna get my hands wet because my fingers get irritated underneath of the ring if I get wet, like my hands. Um, and so I've really gotten into a bad habit of like not wearing my ring a lot of the times. And then I noticed my husband's kind of picked up the same habit, probably thinking along the lines of like, oh, if she's not gonna wear it, then why do I have to wear it? Not that he doesn't want to wear it, but he takes it off more now. Like if he's um, getting in the shower or doing anything, he takes his off a lot more too. And so a lot of times neither of us have our wedding rings on, but I noticed his sitting on the bathroom sink and I thought I'd bring it to him and put my rings on for the day so we can be married today. <laughs> but we'll see you guys at Wings. So we just got back home from eating at Wings. I didn't film any inside because I forgot to bring my phone inside. <laughs> Uh, when we pulled up, I ended up parking next to like this decorative fencing thing that was around a tree and uh, I guess I was a little too close and when Mike opened up the door, he like scratched, well it sounded like he scratched the heck out of the door. The door has a small scratch on it, it's not that bad, but it sounded really bad and so like I just jumped out of the car really quickly to go check the door and of course the door is fine but I end up leaving my phone in the car. So I had the chicken Caesar wrap with macaroni and cheese which is really good. We got him the um, corn dogs. You see I've got spray paint still stuck on my finger. It's like there forever. Um, we got him corn dog and french fries and then Mike got their boneless wings. Um, I'm not sure what flavoring he got. I think it's like a garlic parm maybe um, with french fries. So we dropped Mike back off at work and now we're home. Um, when I brought him his ring he told me, he's like, look see it just keeps sliding off. I didn't realize that he'd lost enough weight for his ring to be too big. So he probably needs to get a new wedding ring honestly. Um, that one wasn't very expensive. I think we paid like $75 for it from Sears back when Sears was open and even when we got it for him it was a little bit big on him but it was the one that he wanted and yeah. the kind that he has can't really be resized which is why he ended up getting it a little bit big and now that he's lost some weight it's like sliding really easy on and off his fingers so we probably need to look into getting him a new wedding ring so maybe this one I can pay for since I donate plasma so save up for a couple months and then take him ring shopping <laughs> so we're gonna get Levi inside and put him down for a nap and I'll see you guys later good morning it's Friday and it is 9 a.m. and we're off to go pay bills there's a few things that I need to pick up like I don't want to call them cleaning supplies but like bathroom supplies um, deodorant those kind of things and, and I'm taking Haley's package I don't want to show addresses but Haley's package right there uh, her and I are doing a makeup swap, so I'm gonna go mail that out right now. Get some money orders, pay some bills. Got hair in my mouth. Maybe that's oatmeal. Not really sure. I felt stringy. But yeah, uh, and let's just go into what we're gonna do today. I wanna get all this done um, before nap time, before 11:30. So yeah. Oh, the um, playhouse is coming along quite nicely. We have one more wall left to paint. I'll show you guys a better look at it once it's fully done. Should be by this evening, but I'll turn you around right now and let you see what's seeable. So that's what it's coming along to look like from the outside. And that's the last wall we need to paint. So we picked up more gray paint, gray spray paint last night. So we just need to spray paint that and then let it dry and then it'll be ready to go. So I'm excited. I'm so excited with how it's coming along. I can't wait until it's fully put together. I think he's going to love that. I mean, maybe not right now, but by the time he gets a little bit older, I think he's going to love it. Speaking of him, he has been on one this morning. He's only been up like maybe a, maybe 30 minutes, maybe. And he has just had hissy fit after a hissy fit. He need to leave his butt in bed. I think he's got a tooth coming in and it's just making him a little extra crabby. Oh my thoughts. So hopefully he'll feel better after he gets a nap in, but. And poor thing didn't really eat breakfast like I tried giving him oatmeal and he ate a little bit of it but mostly just wanted to play with it uh, and then he had a go-gurt so pretty much only go-gurts all I had for breakfast so hopefully he can make it through to lunch but I don't know I tried you know that's all you can do you can offer them food you can't 
force them to eat it. <laughs> so I've got all of my bills paid. I had to go talk to the insurance company about adjusting my due date because um, he's not happy. <laughs> it's our car insurance is due on the 12th and we don't get paid till the 13th so I had to go and make sure that was adjusted so that we didn't get dinged on the 12th. Um, so that's all taken care of. And I have to head to my parents' house, check on their house and bring in their mail because they took a little trip and then went down to Tennessee um, for a couple of days. So they'll be back later today but I need to go bring in their mail and then we're gonna head to Walmart. Just finished at Walmart and I went a little bit crazy on the baby clothes because baby clothes for fall are so cute. But I think that he's got enough clothes for fall. A lot of these things will last him into winter. That's kind of like my thought process is I want long sleeve things and pants that are gonna last him through fall and into winter, or at least up till December. He should hit about 18 months at December in clothing because he'll be 18 months old in December. So, everything I got him should last him easily through December, if not into January and February time frame. Um, cause he's, he hit 12, he turned a year old, which is 12 months in July. But he's just now like fully into his 12 months clothes and completely out of the 9 to 10. Um, so by the time he hit a year old, he could wear the 12 months, but he could still wear the 9 to 10. Um, so right now he's between 12 months to 18 months, 12 months fitting perfect, 18th month being big. And so by the time he's 18 months old, 18 months should fit him about perfect, if I'm guessing right. So I'll just show you guys everything that I bought because I'm a little bit crazy. So these I thought were super cute and I don't, oh, well, they're off the package already. Um, they're the nubby bibs. I think they're really cute. They come in a two pack and there's only one bib hanging on there. And then there's another bib laying like um, on the shelf because the bibs were hung up above a shelf so this bib was hung up was actually like hung up it was on the packaging um, and he's got another one of these nubby bibs and they have like a little teething corner on them like down here at the very bottom would be a teether he's never used the teether on these bibs but I love these bandana looking bibs I think they are like the cutest thing so I got him this one which was on the package and then this one was laying on the shelf underneath which is another nubby bib and it's it's supposed to be a two pack and there was only one still in the package so i just put this one in the package which the package obviously wasn't put together very well i would have grabbed out a different package but it was like the last one on the shelf so um, i imagine this was supposed to be attached to that packaging something like that um and the owls just fell out is my guess so i don't know it's two back two bibs it's my thought process um, pack, blah, got myself a pair of falsies. I'm trying to find the falsies that I love. So far, the only ones that I really, really like are from the Allure Lashes, and they're the ones that Nicole Guerrero came out with. They are, like, the most comfortable. I think they look really nice on. The only problem is, like, they're $10 per pair, which I think is a little bit salty. Um, but I guess, you know, quality is what you're getting. But they had these ones from Salon Pro on sale for, like, $2. So I figured we'd give them a go. Maybe I'll like them. Uh, so here's more of the baby clothes. This shirt I thought was so cute. It's got like a little monkey in the bib, in the bib, a little monkey in the pocket. So I thought that was super cute. These are the graminals. I think everything I got him was graminals other than the bibs. Um, and then so we got him some black pants to go with that particular shirt. And these are just regular straight legs. I thought they like, you know, crimped at the bottom or something. So they got like little drawstrings on them. And then he'll have a little, little monkey shirt to go with it, which I think is super cute. And then how we do things is like he gets two shirts per pair of pants because typically he will wear his pants two days in a row. Um, we do that because baby clothes are expensive. And the way I look at it, especially when he's wearing onesies like this, like his bottom half is covered. Like the only skin to skin to contact he has in his pants is with his legs. So as long as he doesn't get them dirty and he doesn't have a blowout, um, I consider them still clean. So he'll wear his pants two days in a row. And so we get um, two shirts per pants. So the other shirt I got to go with these pants right here. It's a little dinosaur onesie, which I thought was super cute. And they say roar on them. And so that's what that one looks like. So that's two outfits. And then this shirt I picked up. You guys would, I will, I don't know if I showed it to you earlier this week, but I was thinking about getting it earlier this week. Um, I think, or maybe this is, no, wrong vlog. 
I'm confused. I bought, <laughs> I bought him an outfit. I think, I think this will be on this vlog. I bought him an outfit, um, earlier, I think it was on Monday, that, um, came with camouflage pants, and I gave him the option between this shirt and a different shirt, and he chose the other shirt, but today's payday, and I just love this shirt. I think it's so cute, so I went ahead and picked that one up, so that's just like a rando, but it'll go with the camouflage pants. They already got him, and then I got him another one of these sweatpants outfits that I just thought was so cute. Um, he chose this one. I gave him the choice between dinosaurs or monsters, green monsters. So he chose dinosaurs, and this sweater is just like so soft on the inside. Like I want one of these for me, not necessarily dinosaurs on it, but I want one for myself. They're so soft, um, and it has the little dinosaur pants to go with it. He's getting hungry and cranky and ready for a nap, if you couldn't tell. But that's all the baby clothes I bought him. All the baby clothes I bought him. <laughs> Along with everything else that I got him earlier this week. But I think he's good for fall and winter now. So, we're gonna head on home, get some lunch, and put him down for a nap. So, uh, earlier today I seen a Facebook post about this place that is doing pony rides. It's five bucks, kid goes for, for a pony ride. Um, and I called and they said there's no age restrictions that we'll just have to walk with him to study him. So we're going to take him inside and take him for his first pony ride. Are you excited? Talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not riding the pony. He hates horses. He says they're evil. <laughs> finished Levi's Playhouse so this is what it looks like pretty excited with how it turned out I got lazy and I didn't paint these they're supposed to be black I might do them later but that's that's what it looks like from the inside. Those stickers don't want to stay on very well, so I'm not sure what we're going to do with those. I'm vlogging! And then this doorknob, I feel like it turned out pretty good because it was completely broken. So we glued it back together and painted it. And I don't think it looks too bad. It looks pretty good. What do you think? Me. You happy with how it turned out? I guess. You got a stone. Just give me that in your hand. Come over here. <laughs> Peekaboo! Looky there, Levi. Watch. Boop. Boop. Hey! You got your own window. How cool. Get him some little play food or something for it. <laughs> 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 
Is it quitting time? Oh, I'm shutting the door. Here, let's close your window. Now you need you some furniture for your little house, don't you? Yeah. 